Hi everyone, today we are going to be drawing camping in the mountains. And what you will need is paper, a black marker, a pencil, and either crayons or colored pencils. Okay, so we'll get started. Okay everybody, we are going to be drawing the um, camping in the mountains. And what you'll need is paper. Um, you can either use crayons or colored pencils a pencil, a black marker, and an eraser. And I want to show you um, a little helpful hint here. So I've taken a couple pieces of paper and I've paper clipped them together. And the paper clips are really just to keep the paper together. Um, I like to use a couple pieces of paper um, when I'm drawing because it sort of pads the paper so that when you put your pencil down or your pen down, it's a softer, um, it's a softer surface to draw on. And these paper clips are just sort of a handy little tool to have so that they keep the paper in place, you know, so they're not moving around. Okay, so we're gonna be drawing, um, the first thing we're gonna be doing is drawing a tree in this campground. And um, I want you to take the pencil and just draw a nice long vertical line down. And that's going to be um, what you're gonna be building your tree off of. So come down about an inch and come over about an inch and a half. So just draw a straight line down with your pencil. And um, you can either erase this later or color right over it. So we're going to be drawing um, a redwood tree or a, a fir tree. It just depends on, you know, what, what it ends up looking like. But um, it's going to be sort of a cone-shaped tree. And a fun way to make trees is to... So we're not go going to be bringing our branches right into this long vertical line. We're just using that vertical line as a starting point. So... Um, you're gonna be doing a series of little lines like this, and you're not coming all the way into this vertical line, you're just coming partially in, because you're gonna be building a tree trunk. So you want to do some curved lines that kind of come out and maybe give them some little bumpy edges and don't come all the way into this line, because remember you're building the um, tree trunk and as these branches get further down, they get a little longer to make the tree wider at the bottom than at the top. So, and then some of the branches are short like that. And then some of the branches really scoop up. And they'll have like a little, some bumpies so this would be like looking at it from like almost a silhouette look. And see how I'm not coming all the way into that line because I'm building the trunk on this side. Okay, and we'll stop right about there. And then do the other, the same on the other side. So do some little branches at the top. And have some of them swoop up. And there's some smaller little branches in the middle. And as they get down further, they start to get longer. And see how right here is now this is the trunk. Come all the way out to give the base of the tree a wider appearance. You can go off the page if you want. Okay, so we're gonna end there, and then you're just gonna come down and build the trunk of the tree. And then you can give it a little cap down there. So there's your tree. Okay, so now we're gonna be drawing the mountains and the tent and a big sun. So these people are camping and they're already probably in their tent and the sun is gonna be setting over the mountains. So we're going to be doing our first little hill, it's not quite the mountain yet, but we'll do a little hill right here. We're gonna just come down like that. And then we're gonna do another one and we're gonna go back behind the tree trunk like that. And we're gonna put a tent right here. These people are camping right on this little hillside. So what I want you to do is do a, just a little 
curved, slightly curved line like that. That's going to be the top of the tent. And then the side of the tent and the side of the tent right there. And then follow this line and that line. So it's almost like a rectangle right there. And then the inside of the tent will be like that. And then we're going to go like this. And I'm going to erase that. Okay, so there's the tent right there. And then we're going to be doing another kind of like a meadow back here. And then we'll do, we'll come up here and we're going to be doing a nice big mountain. It's going to come all the way down to this meadow. And then we'll do another part of this over here. It's going to come up and it's going to go behind that tree like that. And there'll be another, like another little hill, mountain probably, more of a mountain than a hill. And then we'll have some really large mountains in the background that go like that. And then have one that goes like that. Okay. And then we're going to do a big sun. And you can, if you can grab a plate or something that's round at your house that you can make a sun back here, I'm going to freehand it and it might not be completely symmetrical, but if you can see if you get a plate back there or a little saucer, and do your sun there. And we could even put a, a bird in the sky here. So I would do his bird body like that, and then do some wings. You can go out, and this might be like, like maybe a hawk in the sky. Okay, now let's do the ground down here. So this little hill that these guys are camping on is going to come out like this. And then this ground is gonna go behind that tree trunk like that. And then let's put some rocks down here. So we've got maybe a rock like this. And see, we're, we'll erase all these lines and maybe a little rock here. And maybe some grasses. Okay. And I think we're done. So now I just take your marker and go over the entire drawing and start with the tree. And I'm just going to do this rather fast. Just so we're not taking up a lot of time. But the good thing about doing it in pencil first is if there's something you don't like, of course you can erase it. And then you can just do your black marker and wherever you see a pencil line, you can erase it. And then come up to the top. Do all your tree lines, all your tree limbs. And I am going to do this rather fast so that you guys can get um, your own drawing started. Then the base. And then let's do this, let's do this tent first. And then let's do this rock. And see, my ground was right there, but my rock is in front of that, so I'm, I will be erasing that line right there. And then we'll go ahead and do this little hill, do the grasses. And then when you draw this little hills, bottom, make sure to go behind the rock and behind those grass. And then you can just go ahead and do all 
the hills, all the lines that go to the hills, the ground, this mountain, and it goes up here, and this mountain, this mountain, and then these big mountains, sort of like Yosemite. And then let's do this bird. So the bird has his wings like this. And when you color him, he'll look really nice in front of this big sun. And then do your circle sun, big, huge setting sun behind the mountains. Okay, so now you can go ahead and take your eraser and erase everything that you see. And once you color it, you won't see any of these lines. But now see if you, if you erase all of this, you'll see that the tree's right there. You just go through and erase everything. And you have a nice coloring page that you can have so much fun coloring. And I'll show you one that I colored. So you remove your paper clips. And here's one that I colored and I used crayons. And you know, I colored, I tried to stick with just a few colors. Um, when you have that big crayon box, you wanna use almost every color, but I colored this tree and this hill the same color. And the bird up there, I even colored him green. And then I did different shades of green as I went back. And remember, as you go farther back, things get lighter and lighter. And so this one, I, I actually made it white, like maybe even there's some snow on it. And I gave it some little shadows. And um, I put some little extra grasses in. And I made the, the tent and the sun the same color. So it's nice to just use a limited palette with, with just a few colors and maybe add those on top of each other. So I added some more orange from that sun to there and I put some of the orange in some of these hillsides and I put some in the sky. And remember that down closer to the horizon, it's a lighter sky than it is at the top. And I put some extra little grasses in and that's it. So I hope you liked doing that. Okay, thank you.